Okay, these were highly needed because I just finished watching the end of Coco and I bawled my eyes out. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to do something fun. We are going to play with purples today. I am so excited. I usually don't do purple on my eye and I'm just, I'm really feeling like a purple cut crease, maybe smoke it out. I don't know. We're, we're going to play with it. We're going to see how it goes. I'm going to wing it and um ow okay so i've already done my base i've done my eyebrows i've primed my lids and i'm ready to just dive into color today we're going to be using my morphe 35b with my fluffy transition brush i'm going to just dip into my transition color and i'm just going to blend that all over the lid kind of avoiding my eyelid area just kind of like putting it on top okay so now dipping into this purpley gray color with the same brush as my transition color we're going to use this to just deepen up the transition a bit all right now so on a clean different fluffy brush i'm going to dip into this deeper purple shade right next to the one we just used tap off the excess and put it directly in my crease just below our transition we can still be kind of messy with this you don't want to get it too high closer to your um eyebrow because then it kind of defeats the purpose of having the transition shade And when I'm buffing these colors in, I'm really careful not to blow it out too far out this way and not down because if you bring it out too far down, then it's going to look like your eye is like sagging and you're going to look sad and like you're tired and really you want to keep the colors up, you look awake and I just think it looks more flattering. No rules, do whatever you want, can't stress that enough, but this is just little, little things that I kind of have learned along the way, trial and error. This is how I like my makeup personally. All right, now going back in with that first transition color, I'm gonna stutter through that 100%. Like there's no way I'm gonna say that correctly. With what's whatever's left on the brush, I never dip back into a color. I just go from the top of that darker color and just blend it back in with the transition color. All right, going in with my M573 brush, I'm going to dip into this darker purpley, almost brown. I don't have the colors, like the, there's no color chart on the back or anything, so I don't know what these are actually called, so. What I do with my darker, more precise colors is I put the color on, focus it on one side of the brush, and then I flip the brush over, so instead of like going straight in and getting the, pigment on the bottom and the top and everywhere I focus it on one side flip it over and then press right into the crease and slowly focus it and work it into the crease one eye always looks so much better than the other one like I love this one. I don't know I don't know what this this one's on vacation. I don't I don't understand it right now. There we go. Just a little blending. Nothing a little blending couldn't kind of fix. Now for the lid, I'm going to dip into this like pink. It looks like it kinda has purple undertones to it. So I'm going to dip into that just with my finger and just put that straight on top of the whole eyelid though. If this isn't pigmented enough for me, if I want it to be a little bit more bold, then I'll spray a little bit of my Morphe setting spray on my finger and then dip into it again. That just helps the glitter and everything stick better and intensifies the look. Yep, gotta do it, gotta do it. Setting spray to the rescue. Okay. 
Now working backwards, going in with that same Morphe M573 brush, not putting any extra pigment on, just kind of tapping it in the corner, deepening up the outer corner and bringing it across to smoke out, not smoke out, but to blend out the color, mix it in with the sparkle a little bit. All right, so the eyelid isn't as pat as I wanted it to be, so I'm actually gonna go into the color left of our transition color and just kind of put that right in the center, see if that helps with a little bit more a little bit more Oh, I like that. That's pretty. That is a pretty color. Makeup is all about just playing, testing the limits, trying something new, wiping it off several times before you get it right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, I like that a lot better. Much, much gooder. Now, the same thing that I do at the top, basically doing on my bottom, I'm going in with that gray purple transition color. I do this when I'm really looking for a, a nice, nice smoky eye. What I do is blend it all down the lash line, of course, and then from here I actually go up and attach it to the pigment up on my lid that way it all smokes together and then I'll go back in with like my M573 and blend all that out and blend it together. Now I always put on mascara before my false lashes only because my lashes are straight as a board. I could do a whole video dedicated to lashes, how to wear them, how to clip them, where to buy them, how to put them on, how to maintain them, everything. So if you guys want to see that, just comment down below and tell me that you want to and I could totally make that for you because then it gives me a good excuse to go and buy new lashes. Glam shots. And this is the final look. I, oh my gosh, I just love it. I swear I say it every time, but I just, I love it so much. I don't think with makeup, you just, you can't, you can't really go wrong. I mean, as long as you blend it out well and you're using nice pigment, I don't really think there is a wrong way to do makeup. You just, you put it on, you blend it, it looks fabulous. All right guys, if you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really supports my little channel, even she says so. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next video. Yeah, are you gonna talk for me? You're probably gonna be better at it than I am. Oh, it's gonna make for really fun bloopers. Thanks, kid. Appreciate it. Content. Ah!